go, go. No one else. What do I do? His blood is red. It must have hemoglobin. Start the drip. It doesn't have any veins. It's going into cardiac arrest. Get in there now. Defib go, now. go. Clear. Heart rate is stabilizing. Can you explain any of this? I've been sent here to determine who or what you represent. I represent a group of civilizations. What were you before you were human? It would only frighten you. Why have you come to our planet? Your planet? Yes, this is our planet. No, it is not. The big subject. An hey, alien yeah. comes down to Earth. That's who I play, Klaatu. Um... We come to learn that I am an instrument of judgment and perhaps executioner of the human species. Um, I'm coming to see whether or not the human species deserves to live because of its impact on the rest of the planet and the species and on the planet. Uh, Jennifer Connelly plays a scientist who help, tries to change my mind. I land in Central Park. When I get there, I get shot. <laughs> and then she helps me escape, um, and then, you know, after she learns what's happened, uh, she uh, tries to change my mind. Obviously, it's always this fear of, if there's an alien life form, then it's just death. That's it. It's over. Uh, do you think that diplomacy could have been found, that something could have changed? Well, with Glad having played Klaatu, I would say that if there was some diplomacy, I would have had some hard tasks for you to do, but, um, uh, but I, uh, I wouldn't have, you know eradicated the species. Okay. <laughs> Why are people running? We should stay and fight. They didn't come here to hurt us. Well, we should kill them anyway, just to make sure. Don't say that. That's what Dad would have done. I think he would have looked for a different way. He would have fought. I like to think I knew him pretty well. I know him too, longer than you. What do you think? Of what? Should people run, or should we stay and fight? Neither. What should we do, then? There's nothing you can do. <laughs> now, I know this is obviously a 1951 cult classic. Sure. Um, there are images, even from my childhood, that I remember, like, the huge alien with the... Uh, how do you approach films that have already been made before, especially when they're classics? Uh, Scott Derrickson, the director, had a real um, strong point of view and vision on how to translate the original to present day, uh, updating the story, updating the different relationships that uh, uh, were in the original, keeping them but changing them, and uh, you know, updating the iconographic that robot that you that had an impact. We've kind of updated, um, and so kind of took what was a classic of its time, and hopefully. Like a classic of our time. Yes. Now, um, working with uh, Jennifer Connelly and Jaden Smith, Jaden especially, um, he had some amazing scenes. Yeah. I think that he's an amazing actor. Can you talk a little bit about working with both of them? Sure. Uh, you know, I was a fan of uh, Jennifer Connelly's. Am a fan. And uh, you know, for me to get the chance to work with her was something special. And then to work with her, she's so much. You know, she's so great. She's you know so professional. You know, she brings such heart and soul to her performance in this film. It's really, you know, she carries this film. Um, you know, she has a relationship with Jaden Smith. She's his stepmother. And, um, uh, you know, Jaden had some tough stuff to do. He's lost his father. She's lost her husband. They have to live together. You know, he lost his mother when he was young. So they had, and they're at odds in a way. They're kind of sharing grief, but they don't know how to connect. So that's the other kind of human element of the story. And, uh, you know, he had tough scenes, you know, and, uh, you know, he did them well. You know, he had to be very vulnerable, had to open, he had to cry, he had to be funny. So he had a lot of tasks as an actor, and he, he met all of those challenges. I need to know what's happening. This planet is dying. The human race is killing it. So you've come here to help us? No, I didn't. You said you came to save us. I said I came to save the Earth. We can't risk the survival of this planet for the sake of one species. What are you saying? If the Earth dies, you die. If you die, the Earth survives. 
both of you hands on the car right now. Get the kid out of the car. I'm not gonna tell you again. Hands on the car. Please don't hurt him. I'm not gonna hurt him. I wasn't talking to you. Can you talk to me a little bit about your approach to Klaatu? There, were, there was, especially when we first meet him, sort of reminiscent of Neo a little bit and him being uncomfortable in his body, that type of thing. How did you, how did you, you remember, like, okay, when Neo uh, first woke up um, after being unplugged, he was very uncomfortable in himself and it reminded yeah, me. Yeah, but he was very human in that sense. He was human, you're right. You know, Klaatu is a little more kind of, uh, and, and, uh, and, you know, um, you know, when Thomas Anderson you know, wakes up, he's a little, I'm talking about another film, but uh, he was uh, <laughs> very uncomfortable and very kind of expressive. Um, you know, for me it was just that this consciousness, a separate consciousness from the body was kind of, you know, he's a little more composed and a little more, you know, he's not having such a high emotional reaction. And finally, are we alone in the universe? Absolutely not. Well, I'm upset.